What's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and in this video I'm going to tell you guys which video editing plugin is the best for reducing noise in your videos. So if you are new here please consider subscribing because I make quality content each day or each alternate days and I hope you guys will like it. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so for this video, I have chosen four plugins, namely Crumble Pop Video Denoiser, Red Giant Denoiser 3, Pixel Film Studios Pro Denoise, and Neat Video Video Denoiser. All of them are comparatively good compared to all the other plugins that are available on the market. And the first thing which I am going to show in this video is their capabilities at their default settings. Okay, so first we are going to drag all the softwares in their default settings onto the clip. First is Pro Denoise. Second one is Crumble Puff Video Denoise. Third one is Need Video. And the fourth one is Red Giant Denoiser 3. And I'll leave them for rendering. Okay, so after rendering, this is the conclusion I have came to. That is the Pro Denoise from Pixel Film Studios is the fastest one. Red Giant Denoiser 3 is the second fastest one and Neat Video is same as Crumble or Video Denoise. This is a sample. Okay, so after seeing the sample, this is the conclusion I have came to. That is, Red Giant Video Denoise has literally no considerable change after the addition of the plugin. Pro Denoise is a little bit more soft at their default settings. Need video was considerably more natural and the noise reduction was little less but it was acceptable. And Crumble Power Video Denoiser had the best quality reduction at their default settings. Now the second part of this video is what kind of options are there in each of these plugins and what you can do and what you cannot do. Okay so the first one is Pixel Film Studios Pro Denoise which has Edge Preview, Detail Recovery, Contrast, Pivot Point, Brightness and Gamma and it is pretty much understood by someone who is a novice or a beginner. The second one is Crumble Pop Video Denoise which is set to fastest standard at default settings but we can change it to highest quality and there are other options also like the noise level, noise margin, temporal radius and others which you can play with. Third one is Need Video which is a bit complex compared to the others. And you can load profile or create an auto profile and create your own portion where you need the noise to be reduced properly and it will do it for you but it is comparatively slow. But it is like the most advanced one I have seen right now. And the red giant one I don't know I think my version is a bit buggy or something because I cannot see any options in this. Now the third portion of this video is what these softwares can do at their maximum settings. Okay, so the first one is Pro Denoise at the maximum settings. I'm going to increase the data recovery all the way to plus two. And I guess that will be it. I'll increase the pivot just a little. Others are just fine. For the second one, which is Crumble Pop Video Denoise, I'm going to drag it and then change it from fast render to highest quality. Then the third one, which is neat video. So I'm going to make an auto profile. And yes, I'm going to build a profile. And choose my noise level at that blackest portion and click on apply. And as it is a free version, I'm only able to get around 720 pixels. The last one is red giant. And as I told you that it is a bit buggy or something because I cannot see any options. So I will leave it as it is. After rendering, this is the conclusion I came to. That is, Red Giant has the fastest rendering speed, Pro Denoise has the second fastest rendering speed, and Need Video and Crumble for Video Denoise is same like the default settings. Now this is the sample footage. Now as I'm using the only a demo version of the Need Video plugin, so you guys can see that only a portion of the screen has been denoised. So in order to get the whole portion of the video, you need to download and buy the whole version from their website. And this is the conclusion I came to. That is, Need Video has the best quality noise reduction at their maximum settings. Crumble Pop Video Denoise is a bit too soft at their maximum settings. Pro Denoise is like the softest one and the Red Giant one has no considerable change like before. 
Now, if I take the price point into consideration, it is seen that the Red Giant one is the costliest one, and I guess my software is a bit buggy or something because in their website they have shown a lot of options, but in my case there are no options at all. So I guess it is a bit buggy, so I can't actually blame this one. And it is at one ninety nine dollars, like the costliest of the four. The cheapest of the four is Pixar Film Studios, which is at thirty dollars, and above that is Neat Video at seventy five dollars, and above that is Scramble Pop Video Denoiser at ninety nine dollars. So if you are at a budget, go for Pixel Film Studios Pro Dinos does the job decently and it is fairly cheap. Now, if you don't have any problems with the budget or so, then you can go for Need Video because it is considerably more professional compared to all the other plugins and you can do a lot of things with it. So, it is better. And as there is Need Video, I don't actually consider buying Crumble Pop Video Denoiser, although it does the job pretty well. And if you guys think that you cannot do all this auto profile or manual profile or all those settings, you can go for Crumble Pop because it does all the functions automatically. At, at its maximum potential. So to sum up, for budget problems, Pro Denoiser. For ease of use, Crumble Pop Video Denoiser. And if you don't have any budget problems, then go for Neat Video. And the Red Giant one is a bit buggy for me, so I cannot actually suggest that. But and if any one of you can supply me with the product, then I can say what can it can actually do or what its maximum potential is. But right now I cannot say what it can actually do and cannot do. That's it for today guys, hope you liked the video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing because I make regular quality content each day or each alternate days of the week. Please press the red button down below to subscribe. So this is Pistol Sammy signing out, peace out.